Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Citicom video. We're going to be discussing the final specifications of the GeForce GTX 750Ti and the GeForce 750. Now, I say final specifications because they've just been unveiled. Pretty much as far as I can understand. There was a press event and some people took some photos of it, but more to the point this was leaked all the all the specifications even though they're under nda so anyway let's discuss the 750 ti first so all of these specifications are for the ti um, 650 640 i'm sorry cuda cores 40 tmus uh, 16 rops 2 gigabytes of gddr5 memory on a 128 bit interface uh, by the way, this is on a 5400 megahertz memory. So you're looking at about 86 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which could prove a problem, although we kind of knew those specifications anyway. Um, the qu card itself is clocked at 1020 megahertz, but boosts up to 1085. Of course, that's utilizing GPU Boost 2. Meanwhile, the non TI, or TI, however you wish to pronounce it, has fewer CUDAs, it has 512, 32 TMUs, so obviously uh, its texturing prowess are somewhat lacking in comparison, and once again only sports 16 ROPs, so no, no uh, super high resolution anti-aliasing here. It also is notable that we've got exactly half the amount of memory, one gigabyte, with once again 128 byte interface. Interestingly, there's a bit of confusion regarding the memory. Um, some of the documentation appears as proving it's exactly the same speed as the as the TIE, 5400 megahertz, but others are claiming it's going to be 5000 megahertz, so basically 5 gigahertz flat. Unsure which one it is right now. Now, because these are both very low power cards, they're like 60 and 55 watts respectively, you don't need a separate power connection for them. In other words, it's basically the PCIe Express connection on your um, motherboard is going to be more than enough to power it. Now, it is utilizing um, the Maxwell architecture, but interestingly enough, it's still 28nm. So once again, these specifications... They're not going to set the world alight. They're not going to be like super duper high quality graphics or anything like that. They're definitely low to mid range. But for those of us who are looking for like the very high end or the, the mid to high end range, we're certainly going to be waiting for a while. There's certainly no date yet. NVIDIA haven't said, well, the date for these cards is insert date here. So it's most likely going to be this rate at some point end of the year for the high-end cards so it's up to you as you can imagine if you'd like to wait as for these i imagine some people are going to be fairly disappointed in them they're not going to set the world alight once again just to reiterate on in terms of performance but um they'll kind of do the job anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video it's not specifically super anything to uh, go over but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway i'll see you soon take care bye for now